Welcome to the Arkham Files, an actual play Call of Cthulhu RPG podcast. Featuring Seth Morrison as Tallahassee Turner. Say, hey, Billy, let's run out in the forest together. That worked out for me really well last time. Abel Morrison as Detective Billy McConnell. You've seen what we've seen. That dead light and the butthole monster. Donovan Bollard as Dr. Simeon Can't Stand Your Bits. What in the world? Where did you find that? Peter Morrison as Dominic Drunkard. We did establish there's no flamethrower, which is a crying shame. Sam Morrison as Major Frederick Aloysius Bakersfield. As soon as the going gets tough, the Tallahassee gets going. And I am your game master, the keeper of arcane lore, Alex Morrison. Now grab onto some dice and your sanity. Let's roll. If you guys make your way down this lonely stretch of dirt road, and when I say this is the highway, this is barely wider than the other side roads that you've been driving on. But everything out here is just dirt roads that are not very well kept up. And as you're now kind of seeing the uh, forest widen out a little bit, the road looks like it heads down into kind of a town square open area. Um, which again, all of this is, is relative to the size of this tiny little town of New Salem that's hidden back up here in the woods of Massachusetts. As you come driving down into the town proper, you see what looks like some side streets heading off into some neighborhoods. Looks like there is a little bit of uh, some kept roads in here, a little bit of kind of some cobblestone once you get down here into the town the town proper but not much everything goes off into dirt roads again as you get close but pulling in you see that new salem looks like one of those towns that like a jilted lover stubbornly refuses to move on with the rest of the world buildings that were old at the turn of the century now look like patchwork quilts with the brighter planks of new repairs mixed all over with the dark split remnants of that old good wood seemingly pulled from the ships that sustained their forefathers from the old world or perhaps even pulled from the ark itself it has a feeling of a body that is long since died but whose ghost out of either pride or expectation still haunts these old bones so here it waits either for the crows or the second coming or some other more esoteric purpose long since forgotten, but nevertheless, it waits. So you pull around into a wider area that looks kind of like the town square. There is a large, you pass on the way in, you pass a, a small church on the north side of town. There's some side roads, you see some houses, everything's pretty run down. Uh, as you come driving down into kind of what looks like a town square, there's a large building that's a mansion. You would kind of assume it's probably the town hall. There's what looks like a general store also uh, parked over here across from the town hall. Uh, there's some people kind of milling about, people on the porch of the, uh, of the general store. There's another smaller office next door to what you're assuming is probably the town hall. Uh, which on the door there's a star uh, that says constable. Where do you guys want to go? You want to stop in any of these places, or you want to? What's the where's the general store again? Would that place have a place to develop film? Yeah, maybe pull up in front of the general store and uh, want to jump out and see if they have anybody that can develop film and know of anybody in town. Yeah, the general store says Harvey's General Store. All right, go to the, let's go to the general store, Billy. Uh, Bakersfield sitting in the front of the truck. So, Bakersfield, you want to hop out and go check? Yeah. We'd like to uh, make sure somebody can develop it in good order, though. I mean, we don't want to be waiting a week for yeah, them tell to Yeah, Tallahassee, why don't you go with pictures. Bakersfield and make sure everything gets done correctly? Because he's uh, an idiot. Well, yeah, I'm going to assume that Bakersfield came around to the back of the truck and said, Hey, Tallahassee, come into this general store with me, see if we can develop some film. So I said, okay. So I hopped out of the truck, and then I'm going in with him. 
<laughs> hey, Tallahassee, you're, uh, you're a camera guy. Why don't you come in with me and see if we can get this film developed? Okay, so then I hop out of the truck, and then I'm going to go in with it. <laughs> hey, yeah, why don't you come in with me? Hop out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Tallahassee and Bakersfield both hop out of the truck and start heading over towards the general store. There are a couple people. Uh, it has a like a porch out front. Uh, the roof hangs over the porch. There's a couple. There's a couple guys kind of just milling around on the porch. There, a couple of young guys. They look like they're probably in their early twenties. One of them is uh, about average height. He's uh, blonde and wiry. They looked like they were talking until you guys came driving up, and then they've just been staring at your truck and you since you pulled up. The other guy that's with the blonde guy has a longer brown hair. It's it's not quite shoulder length, but you know, kind of. It's longer in the back. It's longer in the back and shorter in the front, almost as if he has business up front and <laughs> parties in the back. So as you guys come walking up to the porch here to the general store, uh, well, the blonde kid uh, says out to you, says, hey there, who are you guys? What you doing here? Out of towners? I guess that's obvious, never seen you. Uh, Tallahassee, you're looking and the, uh, the darker haired one, you do actually recognize him. It's uh, that's Rondo. Rajon Rondo? <laughs> no. No, your old, your, your little friend Rondo Cordo. Oh, Rondo! Hey there, fella. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Uh, he looks at you, and Rondo says, "What are you talking about? I don't know you. You get away from me." Sure you do. Remember that time when we were stalking the Shadow Rider? You helped out a ton. You guys are always so weird. This is the blonde guy again. You you outsiders, you're us coming in here. W- what's wrong with you? We don't know you. We've never seen you before. You all dressed up like some guy out of some sort of dime store novel. Why don't you just get back in your truck there and keep on moving? All right, keep your the shirt on. Guy, this is the America. dark-haired guy is kind of backing up, looking at you. <laughs> what, what did you say? He said, "Keep your shirt on." I said, "Keep your shirt on." This is America. I'm gonna keep. No, you can't tell me what to do. I'm keeping this on. He takes his shirt off. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. What you think of that? <laughs> oh, I take my shirt off and I, sh- I show him what I got. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right, you better watch your step. I think you guys better just turn right around and head right back out the way you came. He throws a shirt aside. What are you doing? What are you doing here, old man? You two old guys? I think you took a wrong turn somewhere. Why is uh, why is Rondo acting like he doesn't know you? Were you a douche to him? I think you're about to take a wrong turn into my fist if you don't get out of my face. Uh, Tallahassee, you don't know why Rondo is acting this way. I don't. You thought that uh. You, you know left on good terms and Rondo, what's going on, man? Uh, where's your sombrero? Did you give that up too? You get away from me, man. And I ain't Rondo. What well, look like a Rondo to you? Bakersfield. Let me let me introduce you to my good friend Rondo. <laughs> so wait, I have a really important question. Is it the blonde guy? That's now shirtless, or is it Rondo that's shirtless? Blondie's the blonde guy is shirtless. Okay. Do we know I'm the Do shirtless. we know the blonde guy's name yet? No, nobody's said his, Somebody he hasn't get said his, his name. name. What's your name, Blondie? You wouldn't have to be Ike Watson, would you? How you know my name? Ooh, who you been talking to? Hey, Rondo. Uh, have calm your friend down here a little bit. Tell him how how how. Hey, my name how we is go not way back. Rondo. Okay. My name is not Rondo, old man. Well, I know. Uh, they start like... they start getting up and, and getting in your face. I kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tallahassee. It's been so long. I uh, give him a big hug. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, Tallahassee, are you do you try are you gonna try and kiss Rondo? <laughs> I'm gonna hug him. Be like, my good friend Rondo. Roll for kiss. <laughs> Alright, he tries to <laughs> It's, well, you start moving in, trying to hug him. And he's, he get he 
he gets obviously very uncomfortable and angry. He starts shoving you off, uh, trying to push you away. Uh, all right. Um, do you want to fight back or dodge? Ah, uh, let's see. Dodge through fast. Well, you should fight back and hug him. Yeah, I'm gonna try even harder. Just yeah, hug him harder. Hugs. Okay, so you're gonna do a fighting maneuver. Yeah. On your fight back. Fighting hug. Which is your fighting maneuver is going to be a hug. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. All right, make a roll. Fifteen. <laughs> Got, man. <laughs> I rolled an 86. Successful hug. Oh my god. Rondo, don't you be like that. We go way Tallahassee, back. Don't treat me like that. You finally, after all of these years, you get to embrace your friend and ward, the young Rondo Corto, again, after you thought you'd lost him for good. It's been you so long. Him so tight. No matter how hard he tries to get away, <laughs> he can't escape. Your love and affection. <laughs> um, and the blonde guy next to him, who you are now realize is named Ike Watson, uh, <laughs> comes to his friend's aid. He's like, what are you doing? You get out of here. I know about you guys from the city. I know these things you're trying to do. They call you cake eaters. I hug him too. <laughs> uh, and he starts. He starts trying to shove you apart. Group hug. Um, no, I, I, I wrap Ike up in a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Where you need one too. Uh, Bakersfield, are you gonna try and wrap I got like a pen and a hug? Well, yeah, while he's distracted, it's gonna like I'm gonna come up behind and wrap my arms around him from behind and kind of hold him. Oh he's gonna God. hug him from no, behind. You're gonna go for a, you're gonna go for a grab. Squeeze him in for a group hug. He's getting I'm, in gonna, in I'm gonna whisper in his ear. He's getting in there for hug stuff. Well, what do you whisper? Be like, <sighs> don't worry about us. We'll come and go as we please. Oh Just gosh. mind your own business. <laughs> or I'll pinch your nipples um, off. <laughs> okay, roll a fighting brawl there, buddy. For a grab. For a fighting oh, 93. Uh, 90, I am rolling horribly. Okay. What'd you roll? A 93. All right. All right, he rolled a 34. <laughs> you He's going to hug me instead. <laughs> uh, so you try and grab hold of Ike Watson and he, he he sees you and he turns around real quick and he just shoves you back shoves you away um, you fall back against the railing and he starts he starts moving in like he's going in to, to take a swing at you and he's like oh you guys oh, you just asked for it right now you're gonna get some trouble uh, you hear a voice yell out from the street. Yeah. Hey, now, why don't you cut that out over there? Watson, what are you doing? Why don't you get a move on before I call the, call the constable? And Go on, get going. Uh, you see a guy walking over as he comes walking across the street. Uh, he's, a, he's a nicely dressed... Uh, a man who looks like he's probably in his uh, probably in his mid thirties. Uh, he's a tall, lanky man, uh, but very well kempt. He's got a trimmed, uh, nicely trimmed mustache, and he's wearing a nice suit, uh, nicer dressed than anybody you guys have seen so far driving into town. As he comes uh, walking to towards you, it's a light tan suit. As he uh, speaks up. All right, Ike, uh, you, you get a move on, the two of you. Levi, uh, get going I'm, uh, before I call the constable. Levi? Oh, no, nah, look, no, nah, look look here, Mayor. We, was, we wasn't doing nothing. We was just hanging out here on the porch, and these, these fellas uh, doing walked up. And this one's, uh, he's, he's accosting Levi right now, uh, which is making Levi very uncomfortable, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're the ones that they, they got, they're bothering us, Mayor. Uh, well, uh, yes. If, if maybe you could uh, let go of Le young Levi there, we could uh, uh, finish up this the altercation here. These boys, I'm sure, will be on their way. Yeah, that's right. We'll get going. We don't, we don't want no trouble from these guys. We're just telling them to just welcome them to town. Sure thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, me and this guy right here, Rondo. We go way back. I was giving my old friend a hug. Just want to say hi. We don't. We don't, Mayor. I don't know this man. I've never seen him before in my life. He's just trying to—he's just trying to embrace me. 
Nah, it makes me... I'm very... I'm uncomfortable. Mayor. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're, we're very friendly types around here. Uh, Levi, that's all... That's all right. This man is uh, obviously just a... Just a friendly type from the city. Uh, embracing the locals. Tallahassee Turner. Mayor. Famous author and explorer. I'm sure you've heard of my books. Uh, yeah. Of, of course I have, Mr. Turner. Uh... I am, I'm, I'm, I am very well read, as you might imagine, as the mayor of this town. I want, why don't you get, uh, Ike, Levi, get, get on going. Uh, so you guys see, uh, Ike, he, he's still glaring at you guys. He reaches down, picks up his shirt, and <laughs> Levi finally kind of <laughs> shrugs off. He starts dusting himself off a little bit. <laughs> and he's like, oh. uh, Ike just looks at you as he's walking away, and he turns, spits, and, uh, we'll, we'll see you guys later. And then they go walking off, go stomping off away. Uh, now, nah, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry about that there, gentlemen. Uh, uh, welcome to town. You're obviously new here. I saw you just come driving up there. Uh, welcome. Uh, wh- what are your names? We got here, uh, uh, Tennessee Turner, the famous author. What is, what, what, and, uh, what, what is your name here, uh, sir? My name is Major Bakersfield. Ah, oh, Major. Yes. I fought in the Great War. You ever heard of it? He clearly has not heard of me. Uh, I, I, I heard a thing or two about it, yes. Uh, I served myself. Great to meet a, a fellow Marine. What rank were you? I was in uh, the... Uh, I was uh, in the second... Um, so, you guys are new here to town, right? I see, uh... Oh, he's lying. His truck. Oh, who are your other friends here over that, uh, that also, uh, I see in your truck here? Hey, how you doing? I am, uh, Dr. Simeon. Can't that's, stand your uh, bits. That's Scooby. We got Shaggy in the back. <laughs> I'm Shaggy. <laughs> You're clearly Scooby, you drunk bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so they climb out of the back of the mystery machine. Uh, those are just our uh, our friends, our associates from from town, from <laughs> from town, from uh, Arkham, eh? Oh uh, yeah, well, all the way from Arkham. That's a little little bit of a drive, but I know Arkham well. I travel there all the time. I'm very well acquainted with the place. Say, uh, as the mayor, you probably know most of the people in this town, I would imagine. That I do, Major. That I do. Uh, Jedediah Marsh, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. And he shakes your hands. Oh, I would have said uh, Mayor Goldie Wilson, but Jedediah Marsh, that works too. Mm, there's a Goldie Wilson, but he works sweeping floors over the diner. But he's going to be, be mayor, mayor someday. someday. <laughs> <laughs> Not as long as I'm <laughs> living. Say it at the exact same <laughs> <Yes>. time. <laughs> I thought I had an echo. I was yeah. like, what just happened? <laughs> we said that at the exact same time. At the exact yeah. same time. <laughs> I'm going to be mayor. Uh, What can you tell us about a man uh, who goes by the name of Mordecai Shep? Uh, Mordecai Shep? Uh, Old Mordecai. Uh, Well, uh, what do you want to know about him? There's not much to say. Well, uh, see here, I'm Tallahassee Turner, like I mentioned, not Tennessee, whatever you called me. Uh, That's what I said. Yeah, Tallahassee Turner. Uh, but anyway, I'm here uh, doing some research for a new book of mine, for uh, Adventure. We heard Mordecai Shep had a couple of humdingers that I uh, thought I'd come down here and, and talk to him about and uh, and get his take on some of them stories and write uh, maybe write some of that into my, my next book. So we'd love to get a chance to talk to him. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Uh, but uh, Mordecai Shep, uh, he's not the... I, I can tell you, he's not the one who you want to be talking to. Any humdingers you get from Mordecai Shep are uh, going to be uh, two parts fiction and three parts booze, if you know what I mean. I could point you in the direction of five other people that have better stories and more truthful than Mordecai Shep. Now that I'm out of the truck, I'm going to go... Can I roll a psychology on this guy? He seems a little fast-talky. I don't trust him. Um, what What are you trying to discern from your, from your psychology? Um... What's he? What basically? What's he up to? Why is he talking to us? Because he's the mayor, and he saw us getting accosted by hoodlums. Yeah, he the, intervened. The youths, the street youths. I feel like he's hiding something. Oh, I totally he's get that. He's a politician. That vibe. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Look, I, I I appreciate you trying to uh, help us out here, but 
really, we came down here to interview Mordecai. Yeah, actually, so. we came here to get some pictures developed, so if we can get on with that. You can't stand your bits. Why can't you ever just stay in the car? Because <laughs> <laughs> the narrator cleared out the tickets. <laughs> Dr. Simeon can't ha- like can't handle it. He hears like a lie and he's like, oh! His head just like pops out. Your name should be changed to Can't Stay in the Car. No, my, my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my psychologist senses are tingling. All right. Yeah, by this time I got out of the truck too. Came walking up. Um... Uh, all right, uh, I I get what you're laying down here. I understand what you're doing. You got pictures. You're writing a story. You want to do a write-up on our old town here of New Salem, don't you? Now that's great. I think that's a great idea, and I can help you out wherever I can. A slice of heaven here, New Salem. A slice of heaven. You know, it's gonna be the next Kingsport. That's what they say. I mean, you know, but without the port. But it's an up-and-coming area here, New Salem. It's it's really a thing. It's a beautiful Fantastic. place. Beautiful, as you can see. You know, some people think that we're named after Old Salem, you know, with the witches. But we're not. We never had any of those issues around here in New Salem. No witches at all. I mean, sure, we got 99 problems here, but a witch ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> well, screw this town. I'm in the wrong place. Let's hit the road, gents. Just kidding. Uh, well, that's fantastic, Mayor. It's exactly what I'm looking for, exactly. And in fact, you know, we took a couple of nice scenic, scenic pictures uh, uh, on our way on our drive down here. So I was heading into this general store here, uh, thinking maybe we could, uh, you know, get some film developed. Uh, any idea where the best place to do that is? It, you know, quickly. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, developing some film. I mean, really, the only way around any only place around here you'd be able to do that would be uh, uh, the newspaper office, the shofar. Shofar, newspaper and printing. Fantastic. About how how far from here would that be? Uh, it's just, uh, uh, well, nothing around here in New Salem is too far, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's just going to be, you're going to head down that road. It'll be around the corner. You first left over there. You're going to find the uh, proprietor, our local newsman, uh, Jacob Allister. He's the one who runs the, the paper there. Though sometimes I feel like maybe his uh, printing and news reporting is a little bit biased, but... But, you know, we, we get what we... We take what we can get here and just a small little town that we have. Uh, all right. So I, I step to the side and kind of huddle Bakersfield in a little bit close. <laughs> like put my arm over his shoulder and talk to him close. What are you guys talking about? And I say, <laughs> I say, hey, uh, Bakersfield, I think uh, I'm going to take this camera. I'm going to walk down to that uh, newspaper office. Yeah. I'm gonna start getting this film developed. You guys stay here, okay? Or you know, and explore a little bit more and get some more information while I go do that. That way we can do two things at the same time. I can get this film developed faster. Yeah. Uh, also, I have to confess, I have no idea who that guy was that I hugged. Uh, just realizing <laughs> that now. So. Okay. Right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll tell you this much. I don't think he was the man you thought he was. No. So, pull yourself together, man. I'm fine. Okay, right, so well, I was thinking maybe I'd walk down to the newspaper place and go... What are you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, hey, oh, hey, 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 Mayor. Marsh pokes uh, his head in there. We were just talking about how sexy you're looking in that suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's uh, quite kind of you to say. This is a... Uh, I mean, this old thing, really, it is... But it is rather fine. I did pick it up the last time I was in Arkham. I travel down to Arkham fairly fairly frequently. Reading well, I really books. like the suspenders you got on. Let me introduce you to my friend over here, uh, Dr. Kane Stangibitz. Oh, I can see. Also, another aficionado of suspenders. <laughs> hey, how you here. doing? <laughs> I'd I like find they're babies. very effective for when I would like to do a sexy dance. <laughs> well, looks like we've come to the right place. <laughs> do you got a witch bar around here? No, no witches here. All right, all right, uh, Talas, why don't you go take care of that that film? Uh, I'm gonna go into the general store here and see what kind of nets they got on in stock. When are we gonna get to Denny's? So what what is it that I can help you with? Uh, what what are your, what are your plans here for for our uh, fine little town? Are you staying for a little while, just passing through? We're looking for monsters. <laughs> 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 okay, I want to roll psychology after I say that. I want to see what he does. Oh man! I want to see if I can sense something about his attitude after I say that. Uh, all right, roll your psychology. 88. <laughs> <laughs> well? 
Uh, he just kind of laughs and looks confused. He's like, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know if this is quite the place here. I think uh, your neck of the woods, Old Arkham, is the place you want to go for that, right? What the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, up here in New Salem, it's a slice of heaven. Everything's calm, peaceful. Not You're a lot of trouble. About to get a slice of my back can if you don't if you don't stop talking about my home hometown that way. Excuse me, Mayor, uh, Billy, Billy McConnell, a detective from Arkham. Oh, um, detective. I had a question. Uh, on our way here, uh, we noticed this truck was pulled off the the road. Uh, and there was a campsite set up, and uh, it just looked like you know nobody was there. We couldn't find the person anyway. I described the truck to him, uh, and I was just curious if that person's from town or uh, if you recognize that description of that truck. Uh, it doesn't sound familiar to me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we don't actually. That's, don't actually have a lot of uh, motor vehicles around here. Not a lot of people own vehicles, so um, I don't. Th- not anybody that I know of drives a truck like that. Okay, probably not. You said it was a, yeah, I said it was a campsite. We do have people that drive through. Like I said, slice of heaven, beautiful area. A lot of campers that try that come through and like to enjoy the area for the uh, sights. Have you guys heard of any? You know, like bears or animals up in the woods. Bears? Uh, we heard a, Flying you know, bears. back town back ways uh, <laughs> said there was some big bears or something out in the woods. Have you heard anything like that? Um, uh, I can't say I have. Uh, I'm, as in, I mean, I'm not a big outdoorsman, as you no, might imagine. But, you haven't uh, heard anything about any kind of disturbances happening in the woods? No, I'm not a, around here. I've got a decent psychology on them. Okay. If I can tell if he's being truthful. Not about here. What's everything's been pretty quiet as always. Uh, sixty-one. Yeah, I got a seventy, so that's uh, success. Uh, from your psychology role and watching him and uh, the way that he talks, you do get the feeling that he maybe is not being entirely truthful. Oh, pistol whip him, get the truth. <laughs> Kidnap okay, him. Okay, well. You know, I mean, uh, we did hear about some disturbances, some wild animal, crazy wild animals up in the woods. So if you don't know anything about that, is there anybody in town that, you know, is maybe more experienced in the woods that we could go talk to? Well, there's, uh, I mean, there's a few people. Yeah, they're always milling about. I mean, you know, uh, we're kind of a backwoods town here, so most everybody kind of gets out and about, so... I bet if maybe you ask around, you you might run into someone. And nobody in specific that's, you know, our local Daniel Boone or anything. Okay, then my last question. Uh, we heard Danny's uh, tavern is a pretty uh, great place to go get some chow. So just wondering where that place is at. Ah, uh, yeah, Danny's tavern. He's uh, uh, down that away, and you can't miss it. It's the biggest building around, really. The only other building that's uh, bigger in it is, well, <laughs> my home over here. I mean, it's a town hall, but also the mayor's home. Oh, well, thanks, Mayor. I appreciate your help. And, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks. We'll be around town probably for a little bit. So maybe we might be seeing you. No problem. Uh, I'm glad. Glad, glad I could help you out. If you need anything, I'll, I'll be around. You can find me usually at the town hall or the mayor's house. I come back out of the general store. Nah, they don't got crap for nets. <laughs> But all right, uh, so uh, just keep an eye out for, uh, you know, that that Ike Watson. He is a bit of a rambunctious youngster. But um, but if you do have any trouble, uh, don't hesitate to come speak to me or the constable who's the office is right next door over there, Constable Dawkins. Uh, did you walk off Tallahassee? Yeah, Tallahassee's like two blocks away. Okay, I get in the truck, fire it up. You guys climb in? Yeah. Okay, we drive over to the newspaper office. Okay, you guys are going to the newspaper office, you're not going to Denny's? We're gonna go pick him up or just tell him where we're going. Um, okay, so you guys head south, uh, another like another half a block or so and you turn right. Uh, you see Tallahassee Turner heading down that way. Um, you start driving up to him. Uh, why don't you guys make a, a spot hidden for me while you're uh, driving? The dude's in the cab and uh, and Tallahassee Turner. 
Yes, 21 out of 49. That's a hard success. I uh, success for me. 56 success. Okay. So you're driving down the road and, and off in the uh, off in the trees on your right. I mean, there's there's some houses that you're driving past, some homes and yards and everything. But you see kind of uh, back in some of the backyards of these houses, a little ways, what looks like Ike Watson and Levi. Follow that looked like they were following along, keeping an eye on Tallahassee Turner. Hey, Bakersfield, you see those boys up there? Yeah, why don't we drive by and moon them? I think one of us, uh, maybe all of us, should just stick together. Uh, it looks like they're up to no good. Once you guys pull up to Tallahassee in the truck, you see them, like, kind of... Uh, Ike nudges Levi, and then they, they both kind of just take off. Hey, if you guys want to go on a date, all you got to do is ask. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what do you guys want to do? Uh, just pull up out front. And, uh, so Tallahassee, are we at the newspaper? Yeah, it's a little ways down, but... Tallahassee, cool. get in the truck. Uh, those guys were kind of keeping an eye on you, so I think we should take, stick together. We'll just drive over there. Yeah, Tallahassee, you saw that too. Yeah, no, I saw it. I, I'm, I mean, I felt like I can handle myself. Maybe we can split up a little bit and get some more stuff done, but, you know, how, we can all go together, I guess, as well. Let's go together. Maybe Tallahassee and I can stick together at the, the newspaper store. Yeah, I'm just going to wait out front. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe Tallahassee and I can stick together and uh, see if we can get this film de- developed. If you guys want to, the three, you want to head over to Denny's. I'm going to stick with Tallahassee and San- uh, Fine. Oh, Me and Billy will go to Denny's. So I'm just going to park out front and wait. Damn, just come sit up here with me while these fellas run inside and get it uh how long it does it take to develop the film? Like, I don't want to sit outside all day. I don't know. That's why I was like, this is kind of like a one-man job. About how long would that take, uh, Keeper, man? Uh, if you have a decent setup, um, I'd say once you get in there and kind of start messing with the camera, getting it open, being careful with it, uh, you'd probably be looking at least at least at an, at an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. All right, let's just find out. Can we just pop in and uh, find out if this guy can... Uh, if we can get it developed and then maybe we can just head down to Denny's. All right, that works for me. All right, I hop in the cab of the truck. We all climb in like a bunch of clowns into a clown car. I'm going to grab some revolvers from the back of the truck so I'm not unarmed. Okay. All right, so you guys you guys make your way down to the newspaper office. It's a, it's an old wooden building. Uh, also a little run down like uh, most everything here in the in this town. Um, but it looks like there's been a, a decent amount of effort made to uh, to keep it up. Some fresh paint on the door and and uh, some of the shutters. So as you guys uh, head into the door, uh, head into the shop, uh, you look around and it looks uh, you know it looks like a newspaper shop. Um, there are newspapers, as you might imagine, all over the place. Uh, an old printing press, uh, which most all of this stuff doesn't look like it's been updated since the turn of the century. Uh, you see a guy wandering around wearing an apron. Uh, he's an older looking gentleman, probably in his, uh, in his 60s. Uh, he has white hair. Uh, he's balding, uh, bushy eyebrows, glasses. Um, he notices you co- come in. He comes walking up and he's like, oh, hey, uh, uh, how you doing? Uh, what can I do for you here? Uh, I'm Jacob. Jacob Alistair. I'm the, uh, I'm the uh, newspaper man around here. Howdy, Mr. Alistair. Uh, we've heard great things about you. Uh, one of them being that uh, you're excellent at uh, developing film. We have a couple of pictures here in my Kodak camera. I'd like to see if we can get them developed. Well, I'm... Uh I don't know if I'd say I'm um, excellent at it. I'm kind of the only one around here that can uh, develop any film. Well, I got a 40 in photography. What you got? <laughs> 40? That's, uh, hey, that's uh, better than me. All right. Uh, as you might imagine, there's not a lot of, uh, n- not a ton of business around here for a, a reporter or a newspaper man, but I, I, I do my best. You're a reporter? Try to keep the... 
Well, yeah, a uh, reporter, printman. Printer, newspaper man. I'm the only one around here that really does it. Well, tell you what, given the fact that I'm Tallahassee Turner, famous author, famous explorer, extraordinaire, uh, how about, uh, you know, I give you a little scoop. You can take a picture with me, kind of print it in your paper about, you know, famous author stopping into town, giving you a time, uh, in exchange for maybe letting me uh, develop my own my own film here in your uh, excellent shop. Um, let's see. I think that sounds pretty solid. Um, fast talk? Can I roll a fast talk? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, go ahead, roll a fast talk on that one. Sweet, because I got a fast talk 80. Mm -hmm. 99. 77. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that sounds, uh, that actually sounds like a pretty good, de uh, good deal there, Mr. Turner. We don't exactly get a lot of celebrities around here, as you might imagine, being as we are a small backwater where nothing much happens, really. Fantastic. Ben. A little hard to stay in business, I'm not gonna lie. You know, a new Salem, New Jerusalem, I guess they used to call it. I, I named my newspaper the Shofar, right? Like a Shofar, that's like a like a Jewish horn. You know, like the Daily Bugle. But, the Shofar. The people around here just think it's cause that's the new Shofar. You know. Not a lot of cultured people around here, as you might imagine. Yeah, I was actually wondering what you think of it, Shofar. <laughs> Get out of my store. <laughs> Tallahassee undoes his fast talk. Yeah. Reverse it, unchecking that box. <laughs> uh, uh, no, he laughs. I, I haven't heard that one before. Really? Seems like a pretty common thing to hear, but all right. Um, <laughs> oh, hell, this here, my friend. Can't stand in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I was going to ask you a question here. You, you said you're a reporter. Uh, what's the last thing you reported? Let's see. Well, the weather. We, uh, you know, uh, the, the Layton's got a new cow about a week ago. Let me get in the red, let me get into his red room. Red uh, room? Wait. I mean, the dark room? He <laughs> <laughs> said. I meant dark room. I was thinking of the red light. He called it the red, red room. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have a red room? Red room. <laughs> red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Um, I'm glad that we have a lot of confidence in this guy developing our pictures. All right, you'll get in your yeah. dark room in a second. Just let him finish his little. Uh, you can, yeah. Uh, oh, sure thing. Just uh, follow the twins back there. <laughs> red room. Oh, perfect. Speaking of uh, stories, we heard uh, on our way into town that um, there was there. a local named Mordecai Shep. You're that not was... there. Yes, I am. We all came in the building. Everybody went. Everybody. Yeah, went? we let all me came get into, into his dark room. And start developing, then you can ask them all the questions you want. Okay, Tallahassee turn oh my gosh. in the dark room while we all... That Otherwise, I'm just standing there. Forget it. I withdraw the question. I withdraw the question. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Alright, if you guys don't want to ask him any questions... Um, I just did. I further. was trying, but I got vetoed. <laughs> I was just saying... I was trying I to get... finish it, and then Seth was like, Oh, I want to get into his <laughs> <red room." laughs> <laughs> Fine. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I'll stand here. That's right. Stand there. Listen. So the last thing you reported was the weather. Some people have a cow. That's it. Nothing exciting. Nothing about flying bears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks at you very strangely. Uh, no. Nothing about any flying bears. <laughs> We have a strange town, but it's not that strange. Well, what's so strange about it? Well, just... I guess you could say... Uh, I think we have more than our average number of... Uh, well, you know, ne'er-do-wells and kind of uh, rambunctious folk. That you might think it would be normal for a small town like this. That's what makes it strange, is it's normal? Well, I was implying an abnormal amount. Huh. 
All right. Well, I think my buddy here, Tallahassee Turner, really wants to get into your red dark room. Your red room. Uh, I do. To get some of this film developed. All right. Well, that's... Yeah, it's just back this way if you just want to follow me back, but I, I still want that exclusive. Of course, of course. And if you don't mind posing for a few of my photos, I, I wouldn't mind having it to uh, attach to the story. That would be fantastic. I pull out my, uh, I will pull out my cavalry saber. I'll wear my nice adventurer hat, and uh, we can look like we're going into battle together, just like me and uh, the president of the United States, uh, well, Teddy. Uh, uh, so, oh, we're, we're doing this now. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, so, stand, stand over there. By no, oh, I meant later, but yeah, okay. Oh, uh, right well, now just, it works you, too. You pulled out a cavalry saber and. Sorry, I meant I will when we do it. No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, follow me. Um, okay, is that what you guys want to do? Are you heading back to the dark room, Tallahassee? Yeah, I just want to get in the dark room so I can try to. Yeah, so some who's film. gonna stay with Tallahassee and who's gonna go to Denny's? Okay, does anybody else want to ask this guy um, any any really important questions before he he walks off? So if I get in the dark room, then you guys can have one person at least stay, browse over the newspapers, any of the reports, like talk to him, do all kinds of stuff while I'm... Yeah, I'll stay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Jacob. Uh, yeah. You got a, uh, like an ar- archive room or something? I can uh, maybe peruse through some of your old newspapers? Uh, sure, they're just all around about, as you can see, so uh, go right ahead, take a look through whatever you like. All right. So Thank the rest you. of you guys want to head down to Denny's? Let's go to Denny's. Are you staying? Uh, doctor can't stay in the car? Uh, yeah. Okay, looks like it's just me and you going to Denny's, Billy. All right, Dom, let's head down there. I do want to ask um, Mr. Jacob, um, before Alistair. we leave, Mr. Jacob Alistair, mm-hmm. uh, we heard on our way into town... Um, there was a local who uh, did know very many fascinating stories by the name of Mordecai Shep. Do you uh, know where we could find him? Mordecai? Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody around here knows Mordecai. Um, fascinating stories, I don't know about that. Um, he's just, uh, Mordecai's kind of an old, old stumble bum. You know, drinks a lot, kind of one of those, uh, gotta really do anything for a buck. Not exactly the most, uh, not exactly the most, uh, reputable sort around here. Do you know where we could find him? Uh, he's around, he lives here, I'm not sure exactly where. Um, I think he's around on the outskirts, in kind of the shabbier portion of the, uh, very fine town, as you can see. But, come to think of it, I haven't, uh, it's been a while since I saw him, actually, now that you mention it. Uh, a few weeks, at least, I think. You said he drinks a lot? Does that mean he goes to the tavern? Oh, yeah, he, 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 he was a regular over there. Would they have spirits at the tavern? They have uh, the best selection of non-alcoholic waters in the area. Is that regular non-alcoholic waters, or is that like non-alcoholic waters, wink, wink? I'm confused. <laughs> How non-alcoholic are we talking? It's water. I slip him. I slip him two bits. <laughs> That's English yeah. money. They're no good here. Oh. All right, it's booze. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the information I needed. Thank you, uh, Mr. Booze. Alistair. <laughs> All right, Billy, let's, uh, you ready to head out? Yeah, let's go. We'll meet up with you guys in about an hour when you're done. All right, sounds good, Billy. Um, June card, we'll see you in a second. In about okay. an hour, I mean. Yeah. Um, sounds Jake, good. I, we'll, we'll be back in uh, two hours tops to pick you guys up. So I would like to look in the archives as well. Is there, uh, can I get the latest missing persons report? Um, 
Okay, so you guys can uh, spend some time searching through the archives. I believe that is when the illustrious library use skill is going to come into play here. Oh, dang, maybe I should hang out. I got a good library Classic use. Classic Call of Cthulhu skill. Ooh, I got so, a good skill. I got a 20, I right. got a 70. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to roll for library use. It is still going to take some time for you guys to dig through all of these newspapers, all these back issues. 60. Like yeah, an hour? A lot of 60s. I yeah, yeah, 13. Depends. Out of 70, that's a that's a extreme success. So did you guys both succeed? I got no, an I failed. I got an extreme okay. success. Okay, excellent. All right, so it's going to take a little while searching through these papers. Um, and Tallahassee, you're going back to develop those photos? I'm already halfway done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we get to find out if our stuff, if we figured it out. Okay. Um, so, Tallahassee Turner, I want you to make a photography roll. Oh. With Somebody help guy. him so he can have a coupon. With two bonus die. Yes, we Dice. figured it out. Yeah. yeah. Two bonus die, baby girl. Here you go. Sweet. Uh, you got a one, right? Yeah, so I redeem my coupons, as <laughs> Billy suggested, and in exchange I get two more ten die. All right, so my photography is 40. Oh, oh, oh. Nine, 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 oh, nine. My. Ooh, zeros. I got zero, zero, four. Four. Ooh. Zero and a four. You got a four. Yeah, I got it. Right. I got a 90, a 20, Ooh. and a zero. Nice. And a 40. So yeah, he's got three successes on there. Sweet. Okay, cool. I oh, got a 90. So that's a success. Tallahassee, oh, yeah, you yeah. get back in there into the dark room. Uh, you turn on that red light, and you start going to work. Uh, so you guys come pulling uh, up into Denny's Tavern. Um, it's on the corner. There's a little bit of a parking area. You guys pull in and climb out. Uh, head inside. Uh, this one actually is, this is probably, aside from the mayor's house, this is probably the nicest building you guys have seen in town. Looks like whoever uh, owns this place takes really good care of it. So you head inside. There's a big uh, open tavern area. Uh, you see uh, some stairs going up. There's kind of a balcony area on top. And what uh, some hallways that looks like they lead back to some rooms. As I don't know if I mentioned it before, it's a tavern and an inn. So you see some people around in the uh, in the, the dining area. There's some tables out. Some people hanging out. Uh, kicking back some waters. Um, some people just, you know, eating a lunch. Uh, everybody sees you and watches you as you walk in, though. All the eyes kind of look up at the table uh, from their tables and and uh, look at you as you come walking in. Uh, behind the bar is uh, an average-sized gentleman, uh, black hair. He's uh, clean-shaven. Uh, he looks like he's probably in his uh, 30s. Uh, he has a, a scar on his cheek, uh, maybe a little bit of a kind of prematurely lined face. But he looks up as you guys come walking over. And, uh, uh, he he kind of gives you the little uh, head nod. He says, "Ah, uh, oh, hey, uh, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to uh, welcome to Denny's. Why don't you, uh, come on in. What can I do for you?" Thank you. Um, <clears throat> we uh, were were um, pointed in your direction by um, a, a man I believe you know. His name was Grant Jameson. He told us to uh, come uh, here yeah, and Grant. see you. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, and that uh, you might be able to give us some information on the location and maybe some of the residents of the area. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I guess I can, uh, I I can help you out if I can. You know, uh, what do you need? I, mean, I know Grant. Grant's a good guy. So uh, if he sent you this way, then yeah, that's a good, pretty good vouching for you. We were wondering um, if you might be able to tell us uh, the whereabouts of a a man named Mordecai Shep. Uh, Mordecai, yeah, yeah, he's a uh, old Mordecai. I guess uh, uh, he's around. I mean, 
He lives in a he lives in a shack just on the outside of town, just uh down the road. This way is a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. He's a you know yeah, he's an old guy, kind of a. I mean, you know, he drinks a lot, uh, gets into some trouble. He's not a, not a terrible guy, I guess. I mean, in comparison to you know most of the people in this, in this, this forsaken town. Uh, but yeah, he's just down the ways. Uh, whereabouts he is? I mean, I would think he's at home. I, to be honest, I, I can't remember the last time I saw him. Um, does he spend much time here in your establishment? Normally, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I said, I mean, he's a guy who likes to, uh, you know, partake, if you know what I mean. So he, he used to. Yeah, I mean, he typically frequents it a little bit, uh, a little, you know, pretty often, but. I guess I hadn't really thought about it till you brought him up. I mean, he's just kind of a layabout kind of guy. Guy that, you know, you don't really notice a lot, even though he's always around. But now that you mention it, I guess I kind of can't remember the last time I saw him around. You ever um, mention uh, an acquaintance of his by the name of Bernard Corbett? Yeah. Uh, no, I can't say I have. I mean, I haven't had a lot of con- conversations with Mordecai, but... Yeah, I don't remember him ever mentioning anybody by that name. Uh, you mentioned the town being a little bit uh, on the the down and outs, uh, not the most reputable folk around here. Um, what is it about the the people that uh, that we should be beware of? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, a little on the down and outs. I mean, you don't need me to tell you that, do you? I mean, just look around. Look at this place. I mean, not my fine establishment here, obviously, but uh, the uh, yeah, the, the people here, they're uh, not all of them, mind you. There, there, there's some good ones out there, but not a lot. But they're, uh, I mean, the people around here, they're, they're, they're off, you know, just this place. Are the people here particularly superstitious? Are there any uh, local legends? Maybe about flying bears or any other type of, uh, you know, you know how those the small town tales uh, get spread. Are there any like that that the that the folk here are particularly superstitious about? Yeah, I mean, there's all these kind of tales in this place, and you know the various areas they don't like. There's the uh, there's the uh, the old graveyard. You know, that's up there on the way in to town. There's the old Warthrop place. That's burned down a long time ago. People say that place is haunted. Uh, but, you know, I wouldn't say they're more or less superstitious than a lot of the people you find out in the country, which is to say, pretty superstitious. You know, but I mean, you know, I mean, I've been here for 10 years, but they'll still say I'm, an, I'm new. The old, uh... Warthrop place. Um, is there a doctor that used to live there? Uh, I think so. I think that's what they said they called him. You know, he was a doctor. He lived out there. The place burned down a long time ago. Uh, ain't nobody lived there since then. Um, they said there's been some uh, some young guy that's been... I mean, it, I, mean I guess that's something odd, I guess you could say. This seems like for, for this place, there's been a, kind of a lot of strangers hanging around lately. You know, I mean, that's isn't exactly a tourist destination, if you know what I mean. But we've had kind of a lot of uh, new faces rolling around recently. One of them being that weird kid that's out by the that that people say he's been out by the Warthrop place recently. There's a kid by the the Warthrop place. Is he is he staying around that area, or has just been seen in the he's area? Just, he's seen him poking around out there. Yeah, you know. Did he like, have a vehicle at all? I think he's got a car, yeah, which, you know, kind of indicates he's from out of town because not a lot of people here got, got you know, modern modern conveniences. We were uh, driving in from the north, and uh, on our way in, the reason I ask is uh, we've, we, we found a, um, a truck pulled over to the side of the road. Um, there was a campsite there, but the... the Camper was nowhere to be seen. It looked like there might have been some trouble. We were concerned, um, so we we're wondering if maybe we could find the owner of of that truck. Have you seen anything like that around? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I mean, a truck, some people have some trucks here and there, mostly the farmers, but... But, you know, I couldn't really tell you which one or who it is. I mean, the farmers, I don't know if they'd be out camping right around in their same neighborhood. And you haven't heard anything about uh, weird animal sightings up in the woods? No weird animals or nothing, just... I mean, your typical things you see out here in the woods. Uh, I don't know anything about any weird animals. It's not here locally. So we might pop by uh, Mordecai's place. Can you just just down the road a little, little, little ways, little shack? Yeah, he's just down the road. He uh, yeah, he he gives you directions. Just head down the road a little farther, and uh, um, yeah, and then there's, a, there's a, a turn off. It's a you know, it's a little windy. You'll see the. And just just follow it down. He's down at the end of that road. He's the only one down there. Okay. And do you uh? Sorry. Go ahead, Billy. No, I was just gonna say there's five of us, and you know we might be in town for a few days, so maybe we can get some rooms from you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Love it. Love love to have you. Always looking for the business. But yeah, I could put you up. Uh, five of you. How many rooms would you like? Uh. Five. <laughs> All right. No, I, I don't know how many beds you got in a room. Uh, I got some with two. Yeah, let's try and squeeze it into two rooms then. Speaking of drinks, um, do you happen to have anything of the, um, you know, spirited variety? Yeah, sure I do. Anything you want back here. Yeah, he's got a whole line of uh, bottles and booze behind the counter. I know there's prohibition and everything, but as you might imagine, we don't get a lot of treasury agents heading out this way. Possessed waters? What? Spirits. <laughs> what do you mean, possessed, possessed water? You want oh, spirits, gosh. maybe you go check out the old haunted Warthrop place, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do so they, uh, the bar. say it's haunted? Is there a story about, uh, around that, um, that haunting? Uh, you do see one guy sitting at one of the tables kind of perk up. Uh, old, old guy. Uh, he looks like he's, you know, uh, just right about at death's door. Real thin, uh, white, wispy hair. He's got a white mustache. Just gaunt. He looks up and he's like, uh, Ah, yeah. Warthrop Place, eh? Yeah, you're talking about that? Yeah, it sure is haunted ever since I... Oh, that uh, place went... Burned on down and a Pelinor inside of it. Pelinor? That's right. Now, uh, Dr. Warthrop. Uh, uh, tell, about tell me about it. Well, he, uh, yeah, there's Dr. Warthrop. He lived up in, uh, up at, you know, the Warthrop place. 425 Harrington Lane. Just down there. I mean, it's just a pile of rubble now. But there is always. Something wrong with that place and old Warthrop himself. Hey, Denny, uh, let's get a drink for my friend here. Uh, are you sure? Uh, the old constable here seems like he's always had a little too much to drink as it is. This is a constable. Hey, it's the old con. I mean, he's not the oh, current yeah. constable. He's the old one. This uh, constable a long time ago. His name's Robert Morgan. Well, uh, you know, maybe just a little something. Were you, uh, uh, friends with, uh, the doctor? Um, you, you mentioned his name was Pelinor. Friends? Uh, Mr. Mr. Morgan. Nah, I wasn't friends with him. I don't think he had any friends at all. Just that kid that used to follow him around, you know? I was yelling at him. Snap to! Well, and snap to! I like to snap him to. So he, uh, pours you a little glass, hands it to you. Yeah, I bring it over and sit down at the table with him. Oh, yeah, thank you. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> he just drowned himself. <laughs> <laughs> so what What else can you tell us about uh, Dr. Winthrop? You said he's weird, and who's Will Henry? What's up with him? Is he still around? Winthrop. Ah, uh, well, uh, he's weird. He was a doctor. He's dead. Um, he's always obsessed with monsters. But I don't want to... Did you, you know, say monsters? I, yeah. 
called himself a what? monstromologist, of all things. Um, any monsters of the butthole variety? Hmm, I kind of like to think all monsters are buttholes. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, you know, still curious. A monstromologist and Will Henry, whatever happened to him? I mean, if if uh, Walter died in the fire, what happened to Will Henry? Yeah, he's gone. He took off somewhere, I don't know. He took off, left town. But I haven't seen him since. I mean, he was, I guess, by the time uh, the old doctor died, uh, yeah, Will Henry probably was uh, almost a, an adult by then, but that was a long time ago. How long ago did the uh, building burn? Let's see, it's 1920 now. Uh, 40 years? Maybe. Yeah, so he's back. 30, 40 years, I think. So that real Henry would be probably in his 50s or 60s by now. Yeah, at least. Snapped old. He wasn't that old. He wasn't that old. He was like, was like our age. 30-something. Yeah, Don't be going out there to that Wathra place. It's bad news. Bad business. You know, they say that some some young kid's been poking around out there, but ain't nothing good about that place. A local? Like a local kid? Nah, it's a out of town kid. A lot of out of town kids lately. Are you with those? You with those other out of towners? No, I don't we're not think with them. So. By kid, yeah. how old are you yeah. talking? Are you talking like a, you know, a, a little kid or like a young adult type of kid? Yeah, they all look like kids to me. But I guess not like a little kid, but you know, like a, like a, a big little kid. Like a little <laughs> big kid. He's about 20, I don't know, 20 years old, maybe. Yeah, like a no. man boy? Like a baby boy. Like 20, like a 20 year old baby boy. Oh you know, God. like this guy over here. This young one with the weird hat. He's always got a weird accent on him. Like you, you little baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to you, Tom. Yeah, a funny talk. What do I look like a little you? baby boy? Yo, yeah, what are you, like 12? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 21. 21. Yeah. That I mean, that's good. 12 years old. You look like a baby. <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> well, uh, Gramps, uh, you know. Yep, yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing for a living, baby boy? Uh, uh, Mr. Gramps, sir. Uh, you Gramps? mentioned this hey, monster yeah, moldologist. Um, have you ever seen anything that can't be explained in the, uh, monstromological realm uh, that you know uh, we heard some tales about these woods maybe having creatures in them have you ever seen anything like that before mm, not no more baby boy he says taking a drink <laughs> not no more <laughs> it's cause you're super short Pete why am I the baby boy cause you're super short McConnell's the one who looks like he's you got 12 a, you got a baby face McConnell's definitely more of a baby face. Yeah. He is only like 20. 21. See, Dude, right it totally there. was a Wendigo in the woods. Uh, by yeah. not no more, that kind of implies that there was previously a Wendigo. Well, Can you uh, elaborate? I think that's just because I haven't had enough to drink yet. Uh, Mr. Denny, can we get another round for my friend here and for myself as well? Uh, Denny just kind of shakes his head and goes and starts pouring some more for you, turns it over. Did they ever figure out why that Warthrop's place burnt down? Yeah, I don't know, probably because it caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I can assume, yeah, that's probably why, but do you know why it caught on fire? Baby boy doesn't even know why things burned down. Is there a reason that the fire brigade could not put it out? Uh, why it burned down? Like why it caught on fire? Yeah. I don't know. No, nobody knows, huh? They couldn't figure it out? Probably the old doctor messed around with his monstrumology or whatever it is. <laughs> choke yourself. Yeah, I'm choking on my own drink that I'm drinking. <laughs> So why he's taking a drink, uh, I kind of lean over to Dom. Hey, Dom, I think we basically got as much as we're going to get. Uh, I guess we'll just hang out for the other fellas to get here. 
Should we go? I think we're. We told. I told them we were gonna pick them up. Should we go check out Mordecai Shep's place? I'm a little bit concerned that people haven't seen him around for several weeks. Yeah, that concerns me too. But I think I think we should do that together. You know, getting off on our our own makes me nervous. So I think we should go pick up the other fellas. If it's been about an hour. Not yet. Not it yet. Been that long. We'll hang out for a little bit longer, then let's go pick them up, and then we can swing on down there. Um. Okay. Uh. So. Uh. Ezra. Uh. He he says to you as you guys are kind of getting up, and uh, are you still just kind of hanging out? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. So I, I'll get you guys out of your room set up here. We got a uh, so five uh, five rooms, four rooms, uh, two rooms. I I'm not gonna lie. I got plenty of open space here. Yeah. So, uh, many rooms you, you need. You got them. So you got more guys? You you with those other guys that have been, uh, those other new guys that came into town? No, well, the, we got a group of five guys. The, not not the other people that have been showing up. We're not with them. Uh, yeah, 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 no problem. Sure thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, he takes you back and he's, he's he gives you guys the keys to the rooms. Uh, after you guys kind of go back and away from the bar area, uh, he starts. Ta- he he walks up to you again and goes, "All right, look, guys. Like, I don't I don't know what you're doing here, but I mean, you get, you guys got to keep an eye out, all right? You guys would be careful around here. Like I said, they don't like people from the outside. Bad things happen, all right." Thanks for listening to this episode of the Arkham Files. If you like what you hear, show us your support by checking us out on patreoncom forward slash the Arkham Files and leaving us a five star review on iTunes. Thanks again. Psychologists were injured in the recording of this episode.